I'm Lou, and you're watching Live Free and DIY. My last project video was me making some homemade deodorant. And I've been using my own homemade deodorant for over a year now. But this is a new recipe that I came up with in an attempt to make it not chafe as much. My previous recipe that I was using was one that I got online, and it included baking soda and that cause chafing. So this one I've been wearing for the past four days and I haven't had any issues with chafing. It goes on smooth and the great thing about it because it uses beeswax as an ingredient is it stays solid through the summer when it's really hot out. So, so far I'm pretty happy with this recipe but we'll see what happens over the next few months. A lot of people probably think it's weird that I put peppermint in there but I just love the smell of peppermint. You can use any essential oil that you want to make it smell the way you want, but I just like the smell of peppermint. This week I was actually trying to get out a clothes rack that I'm working on, but I didn't get it finished in time. I'm hoping to have it finished for next week, but I'm running into a problem. I don't have a planer or a joiner, and the pieces of wood that I'm joining together aren't exactly straight and flat. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. Here's an example. This board has been joined together and it is not flat. It's kind of bowed, kind of twisted a little bit. Uh, it has a cup in it. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I've thought about just going out and buying a planer. I've also thought about making a jig out of my router to kind of plane and joint them properly. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know. So today, Waylight Creations put out a video showing you how to make a coaster using epoxy that had nerds in it, the candy. It looked really cool and I think you could use like tons of stuff. You could like make coasters with bugs in them using that. I've never actually seen anybody use this particular method, so I thought it was pretty interesting. So I'll put a link to that in the description of this video, so go check it out. I did just finish the book Why We Make Things and Why It Matters by Peter Korn. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting from that book, and there were a lot of reviews that I read after that seemed to indicate that people felt the same way. It was kind of autobiographical about his life and there were some subtle points to be gleaned from the book about why we make things and why it matters. It was pretty interesting. I just started listening to the Dusty Life podcast, which is pretty good so far. I think I'll probably go back and download all the previous episodes and just get completely caught up with it because it's fairly new. There's only 16 episodes or 17 as of today. This is my cat, Jughead. Come on, buddy. I love listening to podcasts. I really love the Making It podcast with David Pichuto, Bob Claggett, and Jimmy DeResta. There hasn't really been much else going on this week. I've been busy doing work stuff and really just kind of goofing off. Well, again, that's about it for this week. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll catch you Tuesday, hopefully, with my next project update. Thanks again for everyone who likes and subscribes. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or check me out on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, or my website. There's a contact form there. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye. My last part. What the heck?